Early that uh, Mohammed defend uh, Jesus to the Jews in Medina when they yeah. were mocking uh, Mary and uh, this. And yeah. the, now I will say to you, maybe we can apply what you apply to Paul. Maybe Satan, realizing that the game is up, he raised his game up and say, okay, I'm gonna bring a prophet now who is not gonna deny Jesus as a prophet, but is gonna deny him as a son of God and, and God uh, and God and this. Maybe this, the same tactics Paul applied to divert, maybe Satan, I can say, apply the same tactics to raise the game and say, okay, I'm gonna preach to Jesus, I'm gonna even marry, but uh, Jesus is just prophet, no more than prophet. No, it can't be, do you know why? Because when, if prophet, when prophet Muhammad did that, if a prophet Muhammad was a liar, prophet remember Jewish, the Arab pagans, prophet Muhammad warned them, especially the head of them. He warned them to accept Islam, he warned them. So the only way that they will follow him, one of the ways, if he agrees with the Jewish people, because the Arab pagans used to respect, highly respect Jewish people. So if Prophet Muhammad wanted to have followers, what he could have done, he could have agreed with Jewish people, then some Jewish people will follow him because he agrees with them now. So what happened? The Arab pagans will follow him. But what he did, he would anger them. And doing by doing that, he's gonna lose followers, not get more followers. You understand that? I so your argument is invalid. No. Second, it is invalid. Secondly, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to say he defended Jesus <laughs> and his Mary and Mary to get followers from Christians or something. No, that's not the case. Because also the things he said go against the Christians in the Arab Peninsula who believed he was the son of God and God. So G Prophet Muhammad's teaching does not bring no one, he's not doing favor to no one. Rather, it's showing that if he was a liar, he could have said something which could and guess his statement to gain more followers. But what he was saying will cause him more, he will lose more followers. But what Paul did to get more followers, to change their religion, to stop following Jesus, what he did, he claimed that Jesus appeared to him. And remember, he wants to please the Roman pagans. And the Roman pagans, they had paganism within them. So he came with his teaching, Jesus died for your sins. That is a pre-Christianity teaching. People die for your sins, the Trinity, the Egyptians. Let's not go in deep to All right, no problem. Things, okay. But I want to say, maybe, uh, I can say Satan raised his game up, he realized, okay, I'm not uh, counting too much on this June media to win them over, to have them, I'm counting that these things is going to become a big things and to deceive billions of people, more than let's say a couple hundreds they were in Medina, if he will play their cards and say, okay, yeah, uh, let's mock Jesus and this, no, he play that. No, but I can't apply that, you, you can't know, apply you that. Can apply. No, you can't, because, because why? No, he means, pull, no, pull, no, 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 you can't apply game. that, because why? Firstly, the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, he said, worship the God who is perfect, has not begun and Satan will not tell you that. Satan always tried to belittle God. Like in the Bible, we said God regrets, God rested with Jacob, God this. Prophet Muhammad's teaching tell you to respect your parents, do this. No, the foundation, the oneness of God. The, what is distinguished Islam is the oneness of God in Islam. The oneness of God is so pure. Prophet Muhammad, when a man came to him, bound down to him, he said, don't bound down to me. Bound down to who? To the creator of everything. Prophet Muhammad, when eclipse happened, the same day his son passed away, Abraham. His companions, they said what? They they said the reason there's eclipse because Prophet Muhammad's son passed away. What he could have, do, what he could have de, uh, did, he could have utilized the ignorance to manipulate them, tell them, you see, look at the miracle, what happened to my son's death. What he said, he said, no, what has happened, he has nothing to do one with no one's life, with no one's death. When you see it, pray to the Almighty, to the Creator. So Prophet Muhammad's biography clearly show us he's a true messenger of Allah. One more minute because you need to go and I don't want to hijack no your time. Uh, you're right, but what if the 
biggest, let's say, things in the universe, just imagine from a Christian point of view, the biggest and most important things is that Jesus is exactly how the Bible portrayed it, and maybe, hypothetically for you, you know, believe, Satan say, I have to outplay these things because it's getting uh, the truth to everybody. Let's pray that God exists, is one, all these beautiful things, except that Jesus is not the Son of God, is not God, he's only a prophet. Maybe this is the most pedestal, is the cornerstone, the most important things. But Jesus did not teach that. But, so he's not going against look, Jesus. Look, in the Bible you get, uh, if you read, and this does read exactly what he No, teaches. no, no, wait, wait, look, look. Jesus, look, when you look, look uh, let me show you something here. I'm going to show I you who's, no, but watch Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Ishmael, and none of them came that I'm going to die for your sins and believe in me. Oh, there's three God. All of them came, there's one God, God is not a man. To show you who is... Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. To show you historical and a rational way who is the fourth one. So we have all the prophets and messengers. Okay, we worship one God alone. He's not a man, okay? And no one should die for your sins. You should be responsible for your sins. Then Jesus comes, according to you. He came with, I'm going to die for your sins. Believe in me. God is a man and God at the same time. Then who comes after? Prophet Muhammad. God is not a man. The Almighty. And you be judged according to your actions. So rationally, the Prophet Muhammad, he goes in line with the Prophet and the messengers. But Jesus, he go and guest the Prophet and the messengers. Maybe so the first one, no, it's not the new. No, we're talking about who's going in line. Because according to the Old Testament, the uh, Prophet Jesus said, according to Jesus, said, I didn't come to abolish the law or the Prophet. I came to fulfill it. And Jesus said, all the children of Israel, our God is one God. That is the foundation to worship one God alone. Jesus said, the only true God is the Father, not him. So logically, rationally, Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet because his teachings go in line with the prophets and the messengers of the Old Testament, generally speaking. As for Jesus, according to your belief, he opposed the prophets and the messengers. Therefore, according to your belief, Jesus is a false prophet. I have to hijack two more minutes to answer that, uh, so my view. You know the story in the Bible, and hopefully you have it in the Quran, that uh, Abraham or Ibrahim have a son, he sacrificed, asking by God, Isaac, you say Ishmael, he was, you know. That was yeah. a very, let's say, from a, if you ask here a hundred people, uh, if God, you pray to give you a son, and after many years you give your son, to ask you to give the most so precious me. things, it's a big thing for God that's to ask. True, that's so, true. If you ask a hundred people, quick, they'll say this is illogical. I don't want to have nothing to do with this guy. It's a little bit. Uh, how I don't know about that. Okay, I don't know about. Uh, quick, uh, if you ask special people, don't have. It's not illogical. It's, it's, not, it's not logical. Because all, all, Allah Almighty, because who give me that son? It's Allah. Okay. So that's I'm belong to Allah, yeah, and I'm belong to Allah. Only a person who believe like Abraham, he believed. Yeah, but so strong, that's what I'm God. saying. Yeah, yeah. He could. He was tested. But it's not illogical. Even rationally, I can explain it. So he was tested by God. You yeah. understand? Yeah. And here we have an example of how much, if you love God, you have to do for God. Even sacrifice the most precious things. And in the New Testament, we have the message of God saying, look, I must so much the human humanity that I'll give the most precious things I got, the Son of God, the sacrifice. You see, but I go and guess. Go and tell no, but I go and guess. and guess. Because why? That is not the teaching of the prophet and the messengers. According to the prophet and messengers of the Old Testament, no one should die no for no one's sins. In Ezekiel, he says, if you commit sin, and you do wickedness and you turn away from it, we will not be held responsible, uh, we will not be uh, held accountable for it. So what I'm saying, you, know, you could and guess the, 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 the concept and the foundation of the prophets and the messengers. For example, in the in, uh, book of Numbers uh, to, uh, 19, 23, he said, God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a son of man that ch ch should change his mind. In, in uh, Hosea uh, 11, 9, he said, I the Lord, not a man. So many passages shows you God is not a man. Likewise, you should be responsible for your sins and you should be responsible for your good deeds no one should die for no one simple and clear then you have Jesus come with completely different so therefore logically speaking that Jesus and God and guess the most important thing that God's been teaching the prophets and the messengers for centuries Something. come on wake up let's depart in peace my name is Here, English John give you a gift we'll lie this is a nice gift I will not just read it. it thank you very much my what's name your name is again Elise John, John I might see you in about one month because I have to go from England uh, hopefully I'll see you inshallah soon six. and hopefully we're going to discuss more about things. Inshallah ta'ala. But as I, I, I would prefer not to be so much people. Yeah, no, I what's want, one? I don't want to, to have a clash of ego. You know, yeah, no, no, we pray in the beginning and share one or two things I want I love that. to share with you. Okay? Inshallah ta'ala. Take God care of yourself. Bless. Thank okay. you very much. Have a nice holiday, yeah? Thanks so much. All right. You going to Romania, yeah? Yeah, to Romania. All right. Say, say hello to the family there. All right, inshallah. Take care of yourself. Barakallah. Inshallah, it was a nice discussion with you, man. Alhamdulillah. Vikum barakallah. Jazakum Allah khair.
حياكم الله كيفكم؟ طيب كيفك؟ السلام عليكم راسي والله السلام عليكم السلام عليكم يا فيكم بارك الله جزاك الله خير ابليس ورشها وانا شغل فيديو تاعك ما شاء الله ما كنت مصلي ما شاء الله ويتبعك كل يوم الحمد لله بارك الله فيك الحبيب اللي تعرفوا الحبيب شنو فيه؟ كيف نعرف شي بايد بوش؟ حبيب الله هو ساكت اخي هو هو وري لي الصوره تاعك ما عندوش صغيره ما يديرش اه خلاص فوب لي فاسيم فاسيم يا شوف الهيستوري تاعي غير انت يا غير ما شاء الله ما شاء الله جاي ربي يحفظك ان الله الله يحفظك امين اخي عليكم السلام اخ والله بوز بيفور يو فقط صوره اوكي المتابعين ديالك جزاك الله خير اخي بارك الله فيك بارك الله فيك الحمد لله ها الله المستعان ود بلادي لازم زيدو تحكي تاع الجزيرة اللي كنت معاهم تاع خرج الحكم. المستعان. والله